Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Hobbington by water. Just basically, we don't need to be here at this point in time, but it's very good to get it in our sort of routine because this actually becomes a superior... Actually, we... Okay, we already got a superior uh, farmland thing. I don't think we, you know, have any recipes that need it yet because we're only expert level, but in general, it's good to get it in our routine for when we do need the superior farmland, and uh, I think this is superior farmland as well. There's a, This one's a superior something else. Uh, actually, let's go and have a look quickly. So, okay, these are all superior farmlands. There is a different type of farmland, though, I swear. Um... But yeah, we're just going to do the uh, the expert ones today. Uh, green onions are all we have currently. There are a ton of recipes that this guy can give us, but we're not going to worry about those too much right now. Um, we don't want to be wasting our money too much, and uh, those recipes do get expensive after a while. For example, this is a artisan level 1 and costs 15 silver, which is quite a lot. So we're going to have to go here. We're just going to do... I don't know how many we're going to do. We've got 320 here, so... You know, we've also got to double that, which is 720, so what's that? 720, 1,080. 1,080 XP we need in total. So I'm going to go, I'm going to be fine, I'm going to go with 10. Uh, not 10, <laughs> 100, because then we also get the 6 from doing that, and then also 4 for each one of those that we get out of it. So we just need the expert crops, so where are they? Expert crop seeds, is that what I'm after? Let's go for that. Let's get five, not 500, let's get 100. That's 20 silver. We can also keep an eye on how much silver we're spending. Um, I won't keep an eye on too much on the repair costs. Actually, we can have a look. I, I obviously will have how much money I had at the beginning uh, there. What am I after? Bucket of water. Where? Why can't I find the bucket? Oh, it's down here. Because <laughs> there's a barrel, that would be why. A uh, hundred of those and a hundred handfuls of fertilizer. There they are. Four so or for copper each. So we, there we go, 100 of each. We have 100 uh, <laughs> green onion fields. I did repair my tools just before I got here, so that's good. We have a um, level 13 set of tools, which are 60 durability, which doesn't mean just 60 things, just 60 durability. Uh, they're tough as well, which I think means they don't break every single time. These are normal, for example, um, I think. Uh, so we should do that, and we also get a minus one second to our harvest duration, which is incredibly good. We need to get a better set though, because those are now half our level. Um, and I don't have, I don't think I've got any high level metalsmiths that can actually crit, uh, get a good crit one. So we will have to look and probably spend a few gold on one. But we're gonna get off our horse. We have our track crops for no reason on. We're gonna have this up here, and let's get started.
Okay, so you may have noticed, and I only just noticed this very close to the end of the uh, sort of doing this whole thing, because I was kind of just focused on the center of the screen, pressing make, harvesting, pressing make, harvesting. But uh, we actually did reach 360. I was kind of wondering why I never saw the little thing down here, because uh, I was occasionally looking at the bag to see how much stuff we got. Uh, I kind of want to see if I had no, uh, how many chumps of chives or clumps of chives we had. But uh, yeah, we have this, which I was kind of worried about because we now have to go to this and we have to complete this farming thing, which isn't actually too difficult. Uh, we have to go to execute a crop for a green onion, which we could have just done. Sweet, uh, sweet gallonness pipeweed and uh, cabbage crop. So that's actually going to be pretty easy, I think. So... All we need to do, I don't actually think, right, so we need green onion, and these are the sweet sweet ones of those, and then, is this cabbage? Yeah, so cabbage, we need, we're going to have to get two buckets of water, two of those, we are going to get two, ham, ham, actually, do we need any for pipeweed? What do we need for pipeweed? Actually, no. Three buckets of water, three handfuls of fertilizer. So that's that. Then we're going to need an expert pipe weed thing. One of those. One of those. And then we're going to need a journeyman. Which is going to be down here. Journeyman crop seed. That's going to be pretty easy for us. So it is just a case. I do want to kind of see what our tools are like. So there are 15 euros. Which they held up really well for like. What was that? Well it was 100. So. It held up pretty well, so we're going to get one extra of these, which is, uh, I guess, okay. But uh, we are going to also pick these up. I was thinking that you could probably just, if you didn't care about making your money back, you could, like, just do a make all on these and just have, like, these are going as 30 XP each. Now, you, if you harvest them, you technically get double the XP, but it's not as AFKable unless you could set up something that clicks at a certain timing, which. I don't know if that's even possible. Uh, it probably is. Um, but, you know, at the same time, kind of... Uh, yeah, so, we have to... But yeah, you could, you could probably set up something like that. So, let's do that. Is that not what you wanted? Execute. Oh, we have to do, we have to do that anyway. Okay, so we're going to have to come over here. We're going to do all three of them uh, that we got here. And we'll only do one on this so we can complete the quest and get the most XP out of it as we want it. Actually, we'll only do one of these as well, just so we get the most XP out of that as well. Um, just, just, you know, that extra stuff. So, And also it's technically quicker uh, before we do a run-through of everything that we got. That should be cool. Right. And then the green onion one, just making one of those pretty fine. We're actually only getting 25 XP, it looks like, for these, uh, in comparison to the 30 we are getting for the actual crops. Oh, really? We have to take them to different people? Lovely day, isn't it? Are these... Where are these people? Oh, they're all down here. This isn't as bad as I thought it was. Could have been a lot worse, because I do know later we do have to, I think, go to... Um... Oh, actually... Is one of those people... Maybe two of them are down here and one of them's up there. That might be a thing. And it looks like we're going to have to go indoors for a few of these things. Uh, Bobo Chubb is here, so that's fine. Hello there. Continue that. This person seems to be in the inn. Which isn't going to be too bad. So let's go talk to this person. A lovely day, isn't it? And then we need to go talk to Opal Goodbury. Uh, good body, rather, which is looking like it's up by the party tree. Uh, so that is, yeah, looks like it. So, so yeah, that should be pretty good. I don't think there are an apple doors, just the party tree. Or just below it, maybe, like in these houses. But considering it's there, I don't know. Either way, it's, it's pretty close. So, hopefully, doing this is just all we have to do to get the artisan farmer thing. Uh, I hope. Because it kind of sucks if we have to do anything else. Um, 
so let's just give it to her, go back to uh, old Crowfoot. There he is, the expert farmhand. Let's go talk to him. That completes his task, um, which is fine. I think it's later levels where we have to go up to, uh, or is it North Downs to go to Esteldin? There? Yeah. We go to the crafting guilds. Odo Proud, Olo Proud, but rather. Complete that quest. We get, there we go. Expert proficiency. We just gain that. All fine and dandy. We've got a title awarded to us, and then we'll complete this. How do you do? We actually get some experience as well. So 36 of it, it looks like. So we did. Hello there. Kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like we're 36 XP just randomly. But, um,. We actually get some lesser craft accelerations. We're not going to use those too much, I don't think. I think we'll hold off for them for now. Maybe do it at a later point when we get some more. Uh, where we're going to have to do more generally to get um, to these higher. Like, we're going to have to do more crops, like 250 crops to get to things. So what I'm going to do is we'll just, you know, take all these down. We're going to do these two first, and then we've got the 341 of these things, which. I will check quickly, whilst I did that one, that's quite nice. We have the 5% chance to crit, so that is, you know, a good 5%. We will have a look quickly, 341, and how much are we getting per one? So that's four, that's, yeah, 1,364, so we are going to easily get over it. Um, I should have, like, even if we got 2 XP, we'd be getting more than we need to, so, yeah, I'm going to... Just fast forward this bit, but we're just gonna make all, I guess.
Right, so now here we are, title awarded to us. We've got Master Expert Farmer sorted out, and uh, we are very, very close to leveling up 3,538. I'm thinking that means we went up like 15,000 XP, um, which is really cool. Uh, and then we have all these. I don't know if I want to keep these. I will for now, because these can be used by scholars, of which we are one, funnily enough. To make dyes. I don't think we have the recipe here at all. It might even just be an expert thing, which would make sense considering it's an expert farm. Um, but, you know, the ability to have these onion skins in our inventory and further excel our experience is always a good thing. So we are going to keep those for now. We can get rid of these uh, cabbages and the pipe weed and the onions and all that stuff and be fine with it. And uh, I don't actually know if we made a profit. It looks like we may have made a small profit from that, but uh, really the point of that is to get the uh, entire thing leveled up. And whilst we're here, what we can quickly do is I'm just going to make these because, you know, this will just allow us to um, level up. It will both give us XP here from the uh, 25 XP that we're getting, which will get us even closer to level 27. And will also allow us to make some battle laws and hopefully, I guess, level up. Um, making 27 of these is going to give us enough to make 27 of these, I'm assuming. Or even just 26, which is going to be fine because we're already above, you know, needing... Like, we're already above 20 XP here, so we don't need the 260 XP we get. So we're, we're over what we're going to get. So that's pretty good, and also we'll get more XP from that as well so that's all good but we are probably going to be holding some items for a bit longer because as i said i think last episode we want to get as close to here as possible without wasting the extra experience we get so we'll go up to if we're at like you know let's say from here 78 i would then use 110 or 11 of those things i think yeah so we'd only waste the axp that we get towards our mastery i don't actually know if it carries over it might but we want to be it's better to be safe than sorry uh, when it comes to these sort of things so that's all good and dandy and i don't really think there's anything in these cryptic texts except from uh, these uh, journals which are really annoying. My least favorite recipes because they're single-use ones, but they are so useful. And uh, they don't... It's not the fact it gives you a 100% chance, either. It doesn't give you that 100% chance. I guess you could be really lucky and try and crit it. Uh, if you had, like, some crit items, you could, like, maybe get to a really high percentage of critting it, and then work that way. Uh, or, like, it will probably be best to have um, the plus to crits, I think, you can have. Is it crafting law? Like, these give you a extra critical chance. If you get really high versions of those, make sure that like, you guarantee you can crit both of these. Like, to get both out of them, and then also for whatever you're using for it for, crit both of those as well. Or crit whatever you're using it for as well. So, we only need 120 of these. Oh, we only have one worn fragment. That would make sense. Actually. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't... Okay, I, I was I was being a bit stupid there, but we are at least a bit closer. I do want to quickly check, though, if uh, we have 280 and then we have 562, that's fine. That means we only need 118 XP, which is obvious. But we're going to divide that by 8. We need 14, uh, well, 15 of these, so we'd only get fairly close, which kind of sucks. So, what I'm going to do, I think... I okay, just leveled up. We are going to hold off on this for a while and pick up some more items around the place and uh, we'll do it some other time and level up there. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Bye bye.